Stat Together offers live streaming directly from the app Stat Together. Streaming. Live streaming takes no extra effort, just set up one device to live stream the game while you continue to take stats normally with Stat Together on separate devices. Stat Together gives you the option to stream to a YouTube channel or a Facebook page. This keeps the live streaming feature free and creates an easy way for fans to find your matches. To get started with streaming, download Stat Together Live Streaming. This is a different app than the volleyball app used to create and manage your team. Once logged in with the account you use in the volleyball app, you can stream any of the matches linked to that account. Streaming to Facebook Instead of streaming to your personal profile, Stat Together streams to a Facebook page. Because of this, you must be an admin of the Facebook page you wish to stream to. When you log in, you may need to tap the Edit Settings button to allow live streaming to your page. You can learn more about creating a Facebook page from the Facebook website. Streaming to YouTube before you can use Stat Together on your YouTube channel, you have to enable live streaming on the YouTube website. YouTube requires you to turn on this feature at least 24 hours before your first live stream. To do this, go to youtube.com from a computer and open up your Creator Studio. Switch over to the Live Stream tab and enable live streaming. This page will show you when you're ready to go live. On the Stat Together app, log in to your Google account. One advantage of using YouTube over Facebook is the ability to stream in full 1080p. Make sure you have a solid internet connection and your device is charged if you want to use this option. Controlling the live stream. Once you see this screen, you're all set to go live by pressing the Go Live button. If you want to record the stream to your device while you stream, go to Settings and turn on the Save Video feature before going live. Recording a match can use up a lot of storage on your device. If you run out of storage while streaming, the live stream will end for your viewers, so don't use this feature if you're low on space. You can always download the streams from Facebook or YouTube after the match if you need them. While this device streams the game to your fans, Stat Together does all the production work for you. The scoreboard will automatically change while you keep score on the volleyball app on a separate device. Stats input on the Volleyball app will show up here too. If you add player photos to your roster, each player will automatically get special recognition every time they record a kill, block or ace. You can change the screen overlay at any time by pressing the buttons on the right side of the app. Overlays can also be changed remotely from within the Volleyball app on another device. The default overlay is the scoreboard, but it only takes a single tap to show the lineup before a game or the game flow during a timeout. Player bios keep fans engaged during warm-ups, and athletes love to see their name at the top of the stat leaderboard after a match. When the match is over, hit the end stream button and the entire video will be saved on your Facebook page or YouTube channel so you can watch it later. To find more tutorials, you can check out our YouTube channel or check out the help section in the Stat Together Volleyball app.